let us take a few more examples on linear sitting arrangements. These examples will be on complex sitting arrangements in which one person is attached to two different entities. For example, a student is studying a subject and is studying in a standard or a class. So a student has to be attached to two entities. We'll take all examples of this type where two or more entities are involved. A, B, C, D, E, G and I are seven friends who study in three different standards namely 5th, 6th and 7th standard. Let us first of all draw somewhere here 5th standard, 6th standard and 7th standard. Such that not less than two friends study in the same standard. This basically means that in each standard at least one person, at least two persons are there. One is not there, empty is not there. So two, three, four, two or three, more than two are possible. Each friend also has a different favorite subject, namely history, civics, English, Marathi, Hindi, Maths and Economics. Let us write those subjects also here, starting with history. Then it comes civics. Then the subject is English. Then it is Marathi. After that it is Hindi. After that it is Maths. And finally it is Economics. So the friends are not studying in the same order. A likes Maths and studies in 5th standard. So our first pass is starting here. He says A likes Maths. So this is concretely given. So I'll write A here and studies in the 5th standard. So A is studying here in the 5th standard with only one other friend who likes Marathi. So we do not know who that friend is. So in the meantime, we can simply write Marathi here. So it will tell us that somebody learning Marathi is staying with him. I studies with two other friends. Both the friends who study with I like language. Here languages include only Hindi, Marathi and English. So with I, Hindi, Marathi and English. So Hindi and English people are staying because Marathi is already staying in fifth standard. And uh, there is another thing, the friends who are staying with I, they like languages. There are two friends with I. So if I and those two, three and they can't be fitted in this one because it will make it five and then one one will come here, which is not possible. So I is either studying in sixth or seventh. Let us wait a, a bit more to finalize. D studies in sixth standard with only one person and doesn't like civics. So D is studying in the 6th standard and there is somebody else also. And D does not like civics. So I'll put a D cross here to tell that D doesn't like civics. Uh, we can come back to this I immediately. E st I studies with two other friends. Both the friends who study with I like a language. So I cannot study. I cannot be here. Because if I is here, those two friends will also have to be here. So the only place left is I comma and here it is Hindi or English, Hindi or English. So this is the structure basically we have right now. I is studying with two persons who like Hindi or English, Hindi or English because they can't like Marathi because Marathi is already adjusted here. Next he says, E studies with only one friend. Now E studies with only one friend. This means E is either here or E is either up. Because that way only it is possible. There are three friends in the seventh section. So E could be in the sixth or in the fifth. Still nothing is very clear. The one who likes history doesn't study in fifth or sixth. So 
it means the person who likes history studies in i in seventh section and there are three persons already two of them like hindi or english and the third one i is left so this means that i should be a student of history so i will write i here because those that are being finalized i am writing at the top next he says e doesn't like languages so if e doesn't like languages then e can't be with a because marathi person is with a e can't be with i because hindi or english people are with i so this is the only place where e is possible at the same time let me put a cross here to tell that e can't be adjusted at this position next he says c doesn't like english hindi or civics c doesn't like english hindi or civics this means c can't be here c can't be here c can't be in standard 6 also because d and e are already finalized this means c is the person who likes marathi i'll write c on top here now this is what i have right now let us move on to our second pass in our second pass let us try to fit this person d d can't come here d can't come in english or hindi also because hindi or english two persons are already in 7th grade we know that d will not be able to come in marathi because he is already there and these two positions are already booked for the 7th grade so we do not have any possibility of d being fitted here 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 or here the only place that is left is this one here we have reasoned out that d can be placed in eco position now we have civics which is empty we'll try to fit civics who likes civics we'll try to find out by going through these statements once again we can either go through these statements and i think here we have a sufficient help here also e cannot be adjusted in english marathi or hindi maths economics marathi and history are already filled up so this means that e will be fitted here now the only vacant positions are english and hindi and we have been told nothing about the other two persons there is absolutely no hint about other two persons so what we can conclude is that the left out persons like b and g these two persons they will either be b or g will be here b or g one of them will be here or here or we can write on top of english b slash g and on hindi we can write b slash g so this is one arrangement which ultimately is possible because we do not have any information about b and g who exactly is knowing english or who is exactly is knowing hindi out of them the only thing we know is that either b knows english or b knows hindi so this is the arrangement i e b or g c b or g a and d and these are the sections in which they will be studying let us proceed to our next example this says seven lectures are scheduled to be held in a week there is only one lecture on each of the seven days of the week starting from monday and ending on sunday let me first of all draw the week days here monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday these are my weekdays three lectures are scheduled to be held between chemistry and english uh wait a minute i have lost something here starting from monday and ending on sunday chemistry is taught either on wednesday or on saturday i can write chemistry here and chemistry here either on wednesday or saturday 
थ्री लेक्चर्स आर शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड बिटवीन केमिस्ट्री एंड इंग्लिश इफ केमिस्ट्री इज टॉट हेयर देन इंग्लिश विल बी टॉट ऑन ट्यूजडे इफ केमिस्ट्री इज टॉट हेयर देन इंग्लिश विल बी टॉट ऑन संडे दिस इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वेब सो वट इल डू इज आई स्टार्ट विद अजम्पन दैट केमिस्ट्री इज टॉट हेयर and if i get stuck up somewhere then i'll start my process again so i'll straight away assume that chemistry is taught on wednesday because i have only two days uh, two possibilities wednesday or saturday i'll start with assuming it to be on wednesday and try to fit other things if a contradiction reaches then i'll start with chemistry for saturday that will simplify the things for me next he says two lectures are scheduled between uh, wait a minute three lectures are scheduled between chemistry and english if chemistry is here then three lectures are scheduled in between and english will come at this position english can't be positioned up because there are only two spaces next he says two lectures are scheduled between english and computers two are scheduled means once this once this and here it means i should have computers okay lecture on physics is scheduled on the day which is immediately next to the day when lecture on biology is scheduled so on my rough side i'll write bio and physics because they are adjacent to each other lecture on psychology is scheduled to be held after mathematics but not necessarily immediately after mathematics so we have psychology here after mathematics so maths will be here and some gap will be there between maths and psychology lecture on psychology is not scheduled for saturday or sunday this means psychology is not here and not here now we have to fit these chains here to see whether they can be fitted or if they can't be fitted then we'll start with the second assumption that chemistry is on saturday if i fit bio and physics in this position bio and physics then maths and psychology have to be in this sequence psychology can't come on saturday because it is not allowed by one of the conditions this condition and psychology won't be able to come on friday because maths has to precede it maths won't be able to come because bio and physics will have occupied this one so this is not the possible sequence here the other way we can try we can instead try to fit bio and physics here put bio here and put physics here now we can i think fix maths here and put psycho here this probably will fit our sequences let us start verifying it there is one lecture on each of the seven days of the week it is okay chemistry is taught either on wednesday or saturday and chemistry is on saturday as we have assumed so it is still satisfying this condition three lectures are scheduled to be held between chemistry and english chemistry and english yes there are three lectures two lectures are scheduled to be held between english and computers english and computers yes two are there bio and physics lecture on physics is scheduled on the day which is immediately next to the day when biology is held and this is also okay lecture on psychology is scheduled to be held after mathematics not necessarily immediately lecture on psychology is not scheduled for saturday or sunday yes so this one also fits our sequence so this is the solution to this question let us take our next question